it's gonna be a long time. I haven't been the best. Good morning, everyone. I've got the fan on. It's getting really freaking warm here. If you've watched me for a while, you already know I get cold super easy. But then I also sweat even easier. I really can't win sometimes. Oh, also, I forgot to shave. I didn't forget to shave. I just didn't feel like it. Now that I'm back from my Korea trip, I wanted to do another what I eat in a week video. That trip was the longest time I've gone since moving out of my family's house without cooking for myself. So I've been super inspired to get back to cooking. Now that spring is officially here, I'm making it a goal to prioritize eating in season food. For breakfast today, I'm going to be making some toast. May is also Digestive Health Month, so I'm partnering with Seed to share in-season foods that support a healthy gut microbiome and my overall digestive health. Spice up my usual plain avocado toast, I'm going to be using some arugula today, which is a great source of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals such as magnesium, folate, lutein, and beta carotene. And for my other toast, I'm going to be making a yogurt toast. Thing. I know it may look weird, but you've got to trust me on this one. I'm going to be using some strawberries for the topping, which are rich in polyphenols, or acids that undergo metabolism after ingestion. At the end of the day, your inputs, what you eat and drink, have a direct impact on your digestive health and in turn, your outputs. That's why it's important to eat microbiome-friendly foods and take a symbiotic that's scientifically validated. Seeds DS01 Daily Symbiotic is perfect for this because it supports your digestive health by maintaining regularity, easing bloating, and alleviating occasional constipation. Now to try the yogurt toast. As someone who's had to fight for her life on the toilet a fair amount of times, I can safely say this has helped me to shorten those trips. Take advantage of Seed Spring Seeding Event by using my code ANIKA30 for 30% off your first month's supply of DS01 Daily Symbiotic. I have leftover spam that I still need to use. I was thinking about making spam with a bee, which is what I would usually do with leftover spam, but instead I want to make a rice bowl, something a little quicker than musubi bee and just as delicious. Now look at this. These are one of those squirty bottles that they use for mayo? You know what I'm talking about. Uh. Ooh, I'm so excited to do this part. Hmm. 
this is like the perfect meal if you want something that looks semi-impressive, but you don't want to put in the effort or you don't have that much time. I'm gonna meet up with my friend for dinner and it's gonna be my first time seeing her since I came back from my Korea trip. And I bought her some chocolates while I was there, so I'm going to give these to her tonight. try going back again when it's not the weekend. This is actually the same place that my mom ordered me those bagels for my birthday and I really liked the quality so I'm hoping I can find a time when they actually have everything and I can make it my new go-to bagel spot. The bagel I did pick up were one poppy seed bagel and then this one which I don't even know what flavor it is. They just call it rainbow bagel for obvious reasons, but maybe it's just a plain bagel with food dye. Who knows? We'll find out. I'm gonna use this one for breakfast though. Don't bake as long. <laughs> Cheese on top, kind of burnt. But the bottom side looks good, so now I know how to adjust in the future. Even the yolk is a little overdone. Thank you. 
This attempt looks much better. I don't know if you can tell, but I've still been filming on the iPhone. Camera situation, not fixed. I think one of the biggest differences for me is the audio. So I got this. This is supposed to be a mic for the phone. Hopefully that will improve the audio while I'm still stuck being a phone vlogger. But a lot of you said that you couldn't tell in my last vlog when I switched over to the iPhone quality. So, I mean, I can tell, but that's probably because I edit. Since I've started doing mini vlogs and shorts, I wanted to get an external mic for my phone anyway. Oh, I, I don't want, I don't want to use one of these though. Connect the receiver. I think I have to charge it first. Ah, this is such a pain. Is it too much of a hassle to have things come charged? For lunch, I am going to make like a salad bowl. I'm gonna roast this eggplant and put it together with like hummus, the rest of that avocado from yesterday, arugula, cherry tomatoes,
Yep, it's just a plain bagel. <laughs> This is here, cause this is here. Here's the thing, I was going to make a tuna melt for lunch, I still am, but that happened, so now I don't want to pour any of the oil in the sink because my whole apartment's gonna smell worse than it already is. Let's see if this works. I hope that got some crispy ASMR for you. Probably gonna hate myself when I have to listen to all my chewing while I am. This may come as a surprise. I have creamy peanut butter, and the reason being... Technically shouldn't be crunchy and crunchy peanut butter this close to my surgery. I'll admit I haven't been the best about eating the soft food, and that's because I don't feel any pain. I haven't had pain since like the first or second week post-op to be honest, but I'm gonna make an effort now to be good about that. You know, if the doctor says I shouldn't, then I probably should listen to that. What the hell? 